I joined the military uh, after 9-11. It was uh, 2003 when I actually went through basic training and uh, I made it to my first unit. It was the 49th Public Affairs Detachment Airborne. Uh, we were an attachment of the 82nd Airborne Division and our motto was to tell a soldier's story. You had to fight by their side. Um, so when I left Iraq and came back to the States, I went through selection and I became a Green Beret. After my last deployment um, as a Green Beret, on September 29th, 2010, two of my teammates uh, were killed in action. On that same day, I received a book in the mail from my mom, and it was an intro to social work. I read that book in two days, and I felt like it was a calling to become a social worker. I um, left the military, and I uh, became a social worker. I got my bachelor's in social work. Then I was able to go through Columbia and um, make waves, move mountains, change lives. That's going to be the motto for, for a long time for me that I carry personally. I founded the Veterans Alternative and the Veterans Alternative was created because really of uh, the difficulties I went through post-combat. And I found some therapies that really helped me out. And uh, we decided to try and make these therapies available at no cost to veterans in our community. They were alternative in nature, uh, not found through conventional means. And uh, they had some type of evaluation um, to prove that they were effective. And we started providing it. And we found a lot of success in that. Most of my coursework that I did at Columbia University, I related it back to the Veterans Alternative or services for um, veterans dealing with wellness and well-being. Um, mostly the focus has been on post-traumatic stress and transitional stress. And although we've been able to develop a lot of great programs to serve veterans, um, what Columbia has done is allowed me to see a vision and create a vision where we can take what we've already developed and built and grow it, grow it well past um, where we're at right now. I'm really looking forward to the commencement ceremony in the future. I know that uh, the university is gonna come up with something. I actually purchased my regalia, my cap and gown, because I think it's important. I think it's important to honor this day, even if we are the class of uh, COVID 2020, it's been phenomenal and I think this class is second to none because of what they were able to overcome.